Hello everyone, I'm inside the Plant-Based Gabriel Kitchen, kind of an impromptu video, but I get asked a lot, how do I, what do I do with all of our greens? We grow so many greens like this laundry basket full. I harvested somewhere around 25 to 30 pounds of greens today, brassica greens. And uh, one thing we really like to do with them is steam them, form them into molds, and then keep them in the freezer. This way we can use them to put into some curries. We can just throw them in the Instant Pot or on the stove top frozen and have them cook up. They're, oh, you hear baby Bridget back there. But there's a lot of things we can do with them. If you're into smoothies, you can take the frozen pucks and throw them into smoothies. And I'm just gonna run you through the process of taking this and uh, taking it to our frozen pucks or molds or circles that we end up enjoying and I'll show you those at the end. So, the first thing that we do is we have our fresh greens and I'm just gonna grab a handful. It's quite the operation in the kitchen. I'm gonna move these, but you can see what I'm gonna do. I just take my knife and I just like to rough chop them, kinda like this. Nice and easy, nothing too crazy. And then I just transfer them to another bowl so they're ready to go. Inside my steamer, you can see here, we have greens that have been steamed, they're ready to go. And I like to steam them for three minutes. So I'm gonna move them into my kind of my, my big pot there that I transfer everything to. Keep it closed so that they'll continue kind of cooking. Because what we want is something that's gonna be kind of moldable that we can put into, well, I use a measuring device, like a half a cup or a cuff, me cup measuring cup uh, to end up using. What we do here is we cut our greens, I'm gonna grab them, put them just enough in there. Don't try to, you're gonna be doing this for a bit. This takes a little bit of time, so don't get greedy trying to fill them all in there and not be able to get a good seal with your lid. Put my lid on, and I like to cook them for three minutes. Three or four minutes is probably good, uh, but three minutes because then I'm gonna let them kind of cook in there. So we do that. Once the greens are steamed, just pull this lid open here. And be careful, it's gonna be hot, and so you might wanna let them cool down a bit. But I just take, this is a one-third cup measuring device. I found that this works good for a lot of different applications. It works in the blender, works in the Instant Pot. You could use a cup, you could use half a cup, you could use ice cube trays. You could do this in a whole host of different ways. This is what I found works. And I'm just going to scoop it in there and I press it down. I'll normally let it cool for a little bit longer. Press it down so that it fits in there nice and tightly. And then you have a pot. And I'll normally press it a little bit tighter, but that right there will go on parchment lined baking sheet or cutting board. And I'll put it in the fridge like this after a night in the freezer. I will pull them off of the cutting board or the, whatever I've lined the parchment with. And then we get to this. You can store them in whatever you'd like. These are frozen greens and pucks that you can do a whole host of things with. First and foremost and most important is save all your good greens. There comes a time, especially in the summer and late spring, when your greens are growing faster than you can eat them. If it's not the case yet, then you need to grow more greens, but this is a wonderful way to do it. You're preserving most of the nutrients. It's kind of like a flash steam and freeze. And uh, like I said, it's something that we really enjoy. Let me do this. It's quite the process. This, this will take up an afternoon, but the nice thing is if you harvest as much as we do, then like I did this afternoon, then you're really only gonna have to do this once every few months. I think this is, last time I did this was about two months ago. So I'm at about once every two months. And that, this is a big harvest today. We'll, we'll end up doing smaller harvests as the season goes along because greens will be coming in in a lot quicker fashion. I needed to harvest these greens because we had a, a pretty hard frost last night, which means these are gonna be the sweetest, best greens that we're gonna have probably for the next six months. Hopefully we don't have any more frost until uh, late fall. And so that's what I do. We like to have these in the freezer, a bunch of bags. You can get reusable freezer bags. We use those, but this were kind of in there when we had them. And uh, that's how we do it. So take your pounds and pounds and pounds of greens and freeze them for later. They'll store for a good long while. You can 
and they'll really they'll really store for indefinite for as long as you would normally store most frozen vegetables so i hope you found today's video helpful uh, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions or questions in the comment section below if you haven't heard already i love you thanks for tuning in i'll see you in another video picture post very soon